are some of the things that we do in education really stupid? Now the word stupid will trigger some cognitive dissonance. This is when old practice clashes with some new evidence or opinion. The word cognitive is thinking, the word dissonance, disagreement. Behind me on the screen there are 15, and this is when it blocks our progress or limits our ability to improve ourselves or our opinions uh, with, in line with current evidence. So open discussions about you know, what you currently do, challenging the status quo is better for student experiences and for improving our own practice. So for example, girls aren't that much better than boys. Class size doesn't really matter. We'll ask a teacher that in terms of homework and managing behavior, you may get a different opinion. What about this one? Self-assessment is good assessment overall. Now, some of those will trigger some cognitive dissonance, some of them may not. It all depends upon your personal beliefs. So imagine your school that evolves with evidence, not based on just tradition or opinions. Maybe it's time to reflect on these 15 that I've got here for you behind me, which give you some school scenarios to think about current practices, whether they're following the research or whether they may be outdated. One example might be school reports. Are they worth the effort on paper? How do you know if students and parents really read them? And what impact do they have on student progress? Why not hold a session uh, with your staff on looking at these 15 ideas on cognitive dissonance and challenge that groupthink or that outdated opinion that one or two of you may still possess?